DFS LOL coming at you with uh, Thursday uh, line movement. So basically, we're just going to take a brief overview, take a look at the lines, see what where they moved, and, and see what type of uh, action or what type of data might have uh, made that change. So let's let's jump right into it. Uh, first game up, we have Houston Cincy. The over under stayed at 38. 38 essentially probably as low as you can get a line. So it's very low total. Uh, Cincinnati started at minus three, moved up to minus six. I would say that could have something to do with the quarterback change, um, but most likely it's more home field advantage. You know, it's two really not so good teams. Looking at it, the public is actually more on Houston side than they are on Cincy side, based on uh, based on the covers formula for it. So that's what they're looking at. But the line movement had uh, moved quite a bit up to uh, up to n minus six for Cincy. Moving on to uh, Cleveland, Baltimore. Baltimore went up one point. The total went down by two. Uh, Baltimore eight point five. I see a lot of running in this game. Uh, I, s I see s Cleveland not being able to get nearly as much done as they could the uh, previous week. Buffalo total went up one point. Carolina went down by one point, down to minus seven total. Not too much movement. I wouldn't pay too much mind to that. Same with uh, Indy and Arizona. The line hadn't moved all that much. Jacksonville, Tennessee, nothing really to see there. KC went up two points from minus four to minus six. Total stayed the same. Public seems to uh, like it at 62%. So that can account for a little bit of the movement. Next, uh, we have New England, New Orleans. And this is probably the biggest movement of the week. Started off with a 53.5 total up to 56 now. So 2.5 increase. New Orleans uh, plus 4.5 moved up to plus 6.5. Which is a fairly decent difference. I can definitely see the reasoning for that 6.5. I don't see why the Vegas started out at 4.5. I think it's definitely something around more 6.5. If you're looking at betting rules, you got to take the home favorites here on a 6.5 spread. Uh, they say that people lean towards 7 and 3 points. So if it's uh, 6.5 or lower, you got to be taking the home dog here. So that's uh, just a little bit on the sports betting side of things. As for the mini Pittsburgh game, not too much movement. Chicago, Tampa Bay, up 1.5 for home, up to 7. Tampa Bay is favored by 43 total. Um, that be, could be because of some of the injuries in Chicago. Uh, next we have Miami and the Chargers. Chargers up by 1 over the initial total of minus 2.5 to 3.5. Uh, next we're looking at Oakland. Oakland, big moves for Oakland. Started off at minus 10, now up to minus 13.5 on a 43.5 total. That might be something I can uh, see Judge covering uh, based on such a high total and a, or sorry, a low total and a high spread. So definitely something to consider. Uh, we have Dallas and Denver, not too much movement. Uh, Denver's down by one from 1 1.5 to 2.5. And then we have uh, quite a bit of line movement here for Washington and the Rams. Started off with as the, the Rams were the home dog by 1.5. Now they're up to be the favorite by 2.5. So about a four-point move in their favor. Total stayed the same. And uh, Seattle up by one point, minus 13 to minus 14. Atlanta up by two from minus one to minus three. And the Giants down by minus two. And I'd have to say the Giants moving now is probably due to the Odell Beckham Jr. news that he may not play this game. So quite a bit of line movements, quite a bit of uh, smart money coming in on some different teams. we still got a couple of days out, so definitely time to have quite a few changes to this. So make sure you check it frequently. As always, like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions in the uh, uh, comments below. And if you have uh, any questions, uh, let me know. We'll talk soon.